बीजेपी ने मणिपुर में समाज को बांट दिया मिजोरम चुनाव के दौरान कांग्रेस नेता सोनिया गांधी ने जारी किया वीडियो सुने क्या कहा आई विजिटेड मेनी टाइम्स ओवर द इयर्स योर कस्टम्स एंड कल्चर द ब्यूटी एंड रिचनेस ऑफ योर लैंड हैव लेफ्ट अ डीप इंप्रेशन ऑन मी अबव ऑल आई हैव नेवर फॉरगॉटन योर वॉर्म्थ एंड अफेक्शन आई रिमेंबर विद ग्रेट फॉन्डनेस द विजिट with my family right after the signing of the historic Miso Peace Accord on June 30, 1986. The accord is celebrated every year as Remna Ni. Today, democracy is under threat from the BJP and RSS in Mizoram, in the northeast and across India. They value neither diversity nor democracy nor dialogue they want to impose uniformity across india in parliament the bjp forces laws which weaken the rights of tribals to their lands and forests and does not even allow the mizoram member of parliament to speak in manipur the bjp has divided society bitterly Six months of suffering have gone by, but there is no effort towards peace and reconciliation. The Prime Minister is completely silent and has not seen it fit to visit Manipur for even a few hours. In Mizoram, the MNF and the ZPM say they are independent, but are they really? No. I believe they are not. They are gateways for the BJP into Mizoram. The Congress Party will never compromise with the BJP. Only the Congress Party can guarantee the development of Mizoram, empowerment for its people, and protection for the weakest in society. Our track record in government shows that we deliver on our guarantees. as you have seen in karnataka rajasthan chatisgarh and himachal but most of all we stand for the protection of the mizo way of life as enshrined in article 371g of the constitution of india which is the legacy of rajiv gandhi that is why i make a personal appeal especially to the youth of Mizoram to the women of Mizoram 